Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Today's anonymous contribution comes from an hardworking farmer who discovered his wife was cheating on him with her boss. I am still finding it difficult to move on from our divorce. I made every effort to keep my wife content. However, she cheated on me to kill her boredom. This is the story of how I lost everything and still managed to find happiness. It all started in October. We were never on good terms from the very start. But it took a whole new direction when I had to move to another city for the sake of the future of our children. She was a very snappy wife, always commanding and giving orders for no particular reason. She also had a fidgety personality and simply could not sit still and was always bossing around. Whenever she got free from one task, she was occupied with the other chores. These were the flaws that I was totally unaware of, even though my friend had told me that she might be a workaholic person. But I did not give it much consideration. As soon as our day-to-day -day life began, it became a burden. In the start, she was protesting on little things, but as days started to pass, she made me accountable and we started having huge arguments on mundane things of day-to-day -day life. I met Jennifer at our family gathering as my best friend was getting married and she was the closest friend of the bride. As a very responsible personality, she was taking care of the whole event, making sure everything was taken care of. This really clicked me, as it was something that I assumed was a blessing in disguise, but who would have thought this would bring the most worst days of my life? After the wedding, we got together at her home and had a really wonderful tea party. Her friends introduced me to her and we started having chats. We belonged to a very rural area and both of our families were farmers. Since we both belonged to hardworking and honest families, it was pretty understandable for us to accept a suitable match of the same nature so we got along well and became close. As time passed, our family decided to marry us to each other. We both were happy with this decision. Soon we got married and it was a wonderful experience for me. As I was working super hard in the days, planting crops, taking care of the animals and plowing the fields, I really felt super happy to come home in the evening and spend my evenings with her having conversations over a cup of coffee. Just her being there for me was enough to recharge me and start the next day all over again and put my best so that we could start our family soon. Just after a year, we had twin boys and my happiness was through the roof. While she had a pretty strong postpartum depression and I was always there for her, taking care and giving her my full support. Having two boys was a challenging experience. Handling them and taking care of them was not easy. And she also had never done any job in her life, so she was basically a stay-at-home mom. We were super happy to have kids in our life, but we had our own challenges as after kids, she started micromanaging everything as she had to take care of our baby boys and her parents at the same time. Things were getting expensive. It was costing us a lot just to take care of our home, so I thought that it would be better if I moved to the main city and started working in an apple factory. It will help us stand on our feet. With a heavy heart, I finally decided that it would be best to finally take the decision. And I moved there after summer. Hardly it would have been a month that she started to create issues behind my back every other day. My mom used to tell that she was causing havoc around the house over trivial things. Things got out of her hand and I had to shift her to the city, but now our expenses were double as I was a single person who was earning and taking care of two boys and my wife was getting hard for me, so I had to start double shift just to support my family. She planned to contribute, so she started to bake at home and started delivering door to door. In the start, it was not very lucrative, but soon she started to get offers from nearby bakeries as baking was that good. So she joined one of the biggest bakeries in our neighborhood and now was baking cakes and bread. This finally gave me a breath of relief as her contribution really helped us lift our family. And we were once again having the best time of our lives. My hard work was finally starting to pay off, but then something happened. 
One of my neighborhood friends, with whom I used to go fishing each weekend, told me that he saw my wife going along with the bakery manager in his car. This was a very serious offense to me, so I asked if he was telling the truth, or it might cause a series of problems. He simply said, "If you don't believe me, you can come on any day after lunch and see for yourself, because this is a regular thing for her to go with him, as far as I can tell." First, I simply asked her if she had explored the city. To which she said she goes to work and stays home to take care of the boys, which rose even more suspicions in my head, because she was acting a bit strange and distant. One fine evening, I planned to take off the next day and see if the rumor was true and to follow her around. Next day, as I dropped her off, I basically stayed there in the cafeteria around the corner to check it myself. To my surprise, it was indeed true, as after like two hours, I saw the manager who was sitting in a car. But this time, as painful for me to say, she was wearing a very fancy red dress, was also sitting beside him. As they started to move, I also started to follow them, and just after thirty minutes, they went to shopping mall, purchased some stuff, and afterwards they had lunch and sat by the lake. Finally, they moved to his apartment. I was so sad to see this all, and it took me like an hour to get normal. In the evening, when I came home, I asked how her day was. To which she replied to take a day off, and was home all day. This made me very sad and angry at the same time. Yet I kept quiet and planned to come up with something worth teaching. So next day, I instantly requested my mother. As well as my mother-in-law to both come here for a few days, so I wanted to show them something. I wanted to make sure that they both saw reality from their own eyes. Next weekend, as she had gone again with the manager, I went with both ladies to his home and knocked at the door. As he came outside, he was half dressed and she was also standing there. She was so shocked to see that both her mother and mother-in-law suddenly were standing right in front of her, and she was half dressed in half. To which I told them, "This was something that I wanted to show you in person as a proof. I'm so sad for what you had been doing behind my back. Since the last three months, I have kept patience." Everyone was saddened by this event, as none of them had expected such a thing to happen, especially from her. I worked so hard that I supported my family and take care of their expenses, and hopefully to provide them the best education in the future, while providing a comfortable lifestyle in this one of the most expensive cities of the world. And this is what I got as a result. I simply cannot forgive you for this painful betrayal, and my mother, as well as mother-in-law, both for being very disappointed and angry at her. I simply left that place for the three of them to decide what will be their future, but I promised to never see her again. Now that they both confronted her and asked her for the explanation of this betrayal, to which she replied that she had no such intentions to cheat, but she was feeling lonely as I was working all the time. And how did it all happen so fast that even if she could not have a clue about it? It really took me a few months to begin to understand my life once more. I decided to develop a farm and begin to cultivate trees and fruits, thanks to my understanding family and dependable friends. I've always wanted that since it makes me happy and peaceful. In my own little world, I was joyful once more. This was my paradise. I constructed on earth. I'm now on a mission to teach kids the significance of nature. And how they can recreate their own environment to be more environmentally friendly. As after a year I was passing through the city, I was shocked to see her there. Since I was at peace, I only wanted to know if she was doing okay. She began to sob as soon as she spotted me. I hadn't anticipated it, so I was surprised. As we sat in a cafeteria, I still offered her a cup of coffee. And she told me that he merely wanted her for the time being and for his own business endeavors. Within a few months of her leaving me, he too left her and set out to find another girl with better options. She was now a hard patient in addition to being broken-hearted. 
I was extremely sorry to hear about her situation and genuinely wanted to help her, but I believe it was too late for us to reconcile because I had divorced my calling in life and was now experiencing bliss. I only sent her my best wishes and suggested that she volunteer at an elderly home or work for a charity, so that she may also lighten her emotional burden and discover a meaning and purpose for her life. We finally split ways at this point and I am happy to say that everything worked out for the best in the end, leaving me content and able to contribute to society. Finding out that your partner is cheating on you is terrible and it hurt both of you over time. I was devastated for her, but there was nothing I could do at this point. All I can do is wish her the best. I then got to my feet and walked out. Her real regret for her situation was the last thing I noticed in her eyes. After spending so many years on this planet, I think I've learned that karma hits us all equally, that if we do good to others, we will be taken care of, and that if we cheat life, we always pay for it sooner or later but will eventually catch up and will pay for it. I could not believe that now I had devoted my entire life to serving humanity, the satisfaction I had previously experienced in doing good deeds paled in comparison. I am incredibly humbled and grateful that I changed my course in life. I feel so fortunate to be giving my life right now. Please share your thoughts about our story in the comment section.